If you want that someone send you a big file or a little file maybe, but most of the time sending a big file is a kind of hassle. So if you need to do it and you have a Synology NAS, well, you have the right product at home because it's very easy to do. First, you will need to open Google Chrome and visit the IP address of your Synology NAS. If you don't know what it is, see my video on the upper right corner. I will show you how to use Fing, which is a free application, and you will find the IP address of your NAS quite easily. Now that I know that my IP address is 192, that 168, that one, that 193, well, I visit this page and uh, maybe you will have to enter your credential, but you will end up on that page. The first thing you will want to do is go in control panel and go in the quick connect tab and enable this quick connect tab. You will need to uh, create a quick connect ID. It's very easy to do. You can be lost by doing this. After that, you can close that window and you will visit the file station. From here, you will have access to all of your hard drive and all the files inside it. So let's go into the transfer hard drive and I will create a new folder that I will name drop folder. So that folder will be the one that I will share to everybody that I want to drop files in it. So what I will do is I will right click on it and create file request. So this link is already enabled. So I can copy it, come here, paste it on a new incognito tab, and well, I can drop as many files as I want. So your name, well, type your name. And, and let's pick some files. So let's say that I will drop those files. And just to show it to you at the same time, that is my transfer hard drive. And you can already see the drop folder. There is nothing inside. And if I start the transfer, so upload, you will see there will be a new folder that will show up. And inside of it, well, the new file will drop it simply like that. So every time someone will drop a file, it will said his name and inside of it will be the file that he drop in. And that's it. Now, if we want to see more settings, uh, you can enable a password protection. So let's say the password for this one will be one, two, three, four. Please pick something more complicated than that because anybody with that link will be able to drop file into your hard drive if you don't put a password. Of course, this link is not public, but if someone just try random things, well, he maybe end up getting into your hard drive. And you can also add a validity period. Uh, you can set a start time, a stop time, and a number of allow access. So let's say that I want uh, this folder to be enabled up to next week at midnight or maybe at two o'clock and a maximum of 10 access. So I'm going to hit save and save. And now uh, everybody can come back here with that link. And now they will ask for a password. So let's say one, two, three, four, enter. And now I'm in and I can drop files. I don't need to do another example, but now if we want to manage all of those share links, uh, you can come back in tools. And I remember we are into file station. So we go in tools and share link manager. And you see that drop folder just right here is enabled up to July 9 and it's still valid. Uh, if I want to edit it well I can return to validity period and as you can see they now remain nine access so let's say that I set it to one because I want to change it and I save it I can go back here follow the link input the password and now we're in and let's do it again because we use our last access 
So let's connect and yes, this share link is not available. So that's what happened at the end of the date or the number of access available. So let's say I return to tools and share link manager. As you can see, this one is broken. So if you want to reshare it, you're going to have to restart again, go on the file and recreate a Hask dropping file because uh, since it's broken, you cannot edit uh, the broken link. So sometime you can go, come here and clear invalid links. The other one are some that I create that are still valid up to tomorrow and after tomorrow. If that's not exactly what you wanted to do, uh, I create two other video that might interest you. Uh, if you see the video on the upper right corner, this one will explain you how to share a folder so people can get the files that you want to share with them. So it's a bit of the reverse operation that the one I've just show you. And if you want to have a full access to your NAS, uh, that means this page. So you will have access to control panel. You will have access to file station, which I remember is everything that is inside your uh, NAS. Uh, you can access to all of the folders, see all of your picture, video, anything. And you can also even uh, drop files in it. So you can really do everything into that page remotely. So if you want to do it, see the video on the upper right corner. So this is it. Thank you for watching. I hope it helps. If yes, please make a thumbs up. If you have any question, please ask in the comment below. I may simply answer you or even maybe make a video just for you. So don't forget to subscribe. And what you do see back there, it's from my main channel. So please come take a look at this right there. Thank you for watching again. See ya.